Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Minecraft Escape from the Nether by Nick Alopoulos. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. Emmy and Birch were ready for adventure. Emmy had a brand new helmet and matching boots made of yellow gold. Birch had a brand new sword made of iron. Bite, their loyal wolf, just wanted to play. We can play fetch, said Emmy. Ready, boy? asked Birch. Fetch. Bite ran after the stick, but he did not return. Where did he go? asked Birch. They both called him. They did not find Bite, but they saw something strange. Beneath the trees, they found a rectangle of blocks made of black obsidian. The air glowed purple inside it. It's a portal to the nether, said Emmy. She put her hand into the purple light. Her hand disappeared. Do you think Bite went through the portal? asked Birch. There is only one way to find out, said Emmy. Come on. The two friends leaped into the portal. At first, Birch thought they were still in the forest. Then he saw that the trees were blue-green. So was the grass. Birch and Emmy climbed a pair of vines to get a better view of the nether. Birch gasped in surprise. He saw a gray desert. He saw a red woodland. And he saw an ocean of lava. Birch had never seen any place like this in Minecraft. Even the mushrooms are strange, Emmy told him with a laugh. She put two blue-green fungi in her inventory. Setting out to find Bite, they started walking. The strange blue-green forest became a strange red forest. Birch raised his hand. They were being watched. Birch's warning was too late. Strange mobs surrounded them. Piglins, cried Emmy. The piglins attacked Birch, but they left Emmy alone. They liked her gold helmet and gold boots. Emmy had an idea. She took off her gold helmet and put it on Birch's head. The piglins stopped fighting Birch. The mobs oinked with happiness. Emmy and Birch followed them to a huge fortress. In the fortress, they found a treasure room filled with gold. Birch opened a chest. The penguins drew their swords and made angry noises. Emmy and Birch escaped the mob by smashing a big hole in the wall. On the other side was a desert. Penguins chased them. It was very difficult to run. This is not ordinary sand, said Emmy. It is soul sand. Skeletons also started firing arrows at them. Emmy and Birch ran faster. They could see a portal on the other side of a river of lava. We're trapped, said Birch. Emmy pointed at two striders with red skin and stringy hair. We can't cross the lava, said Emmy, but striders can. Emmy saddled the striders. She and Birch climbed onto the passive mobs, but the striders stood there chirping. Emmy offered them carrots. They just kept chirping. Birch had an idea. Carrots did not grow in the nether. Maybe striders did not eat them. Quick, offer them the blue-green fungi, 
Birch shouted, as a floating gas joined the skeletons and piglins. When the striders saw the fungi, they started running. Emmy and Birch raced towards the portal. On the other side of the portal, they could see Bite. He was waiting for them. He had his stick in his mouth. They were going to make it. Safe in the overworld, Emmy threw the stick. Bite fetched it and then Birch threw it. Playing with Bite was a great end to a great adventure. The end. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed listening to this book and I hope you were able to read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye.